Hello beautiful beings, this is Belinda Pearl and welcome to this auricular divination cosmic channeling experience. Um, so we are right here at the doorstep of a Leo new moon and then also on top of that is a Leo new moon is actually positioned on 8-8 which is the peak or pinnacle point of this lion's gate and this lion's gate is said to energetically upgrade our DNA if we take the 8-8 eight, eight and put that together it creates this like spiraling effect so there's that idea to it as well but it's also a period of like powerful manifestation and being courageous and stepping into your power and then also in a way receiving being quiet enough to feel the alignment and the activation that's coming in that can purposely put you on your path ahead fulfilling your passions that you really feel that you wish to be in this world always choosing these words very carefully because it's essential as we do any of this work is that we're mindful of how we speak because our words how we speak them become our reality we have we live in a time where our transmissions are very real and the things that we do and we say and we act and we think are continuously manifesting into form and then we're always wondering why the same thing is happening over and over again. But if we don't change the programming and the pattern, then we're always going to stick in the same groove. And that's what we're going to experience over again. Sometimes we do have to do something purposeful to step out of that groove. We can't just sit on the sofa and expect things to change. We need to get off, jump up, maybe move the body, move our body out of that space and time where we feel maybe feeling down and just take a step to the left, to the right, forward and back tends to actually work i've tried this before and i give this as guidance to people i'm like how would you just like feeling anxious just in this like if it was like an exact like you know, there's, there's an exact point in the earth just take a step to the right and step out of that exact point maybe you receive something different just in that other part and maybe just doing that stops you from thinking that thought because you just moved out of that space so sometimes we can do things on that physical level too to really help us but yes words are so important Feel like I'm talking like really quickly for some odd reason must be a lot of information that wants to come through but there has been a lot of information actually my life has been quietening down and actually being more still we've all gauged this like, experience that humanity has gone through over this last year coming on towards its like year and a half anniversary if you will getting close to its second year of being in this like, huge change of where we're going and everybody's evolution has been different. My personal evolution has been something quite interesting, obviously going through all the emotions that everybody else is going through, losses and discoveries, learnings and surrenderings into as well. But where we are and how we choose and where we want to put our energy, even on those days that we feel really down, it's so important for us to do something different. Maybe if you've been inside of the house for too long, maybe just to go stand outside or even just put your head out the window, if that's something you can do. But finding ways to really shift our energy, if we feel like we're just feeling the same thing over and over, what can we do to shift that energy? I know I've been shifting my energy a lot and doing things, being very like mindful of my own self, my own responses, my own reactions. I think that when we move onto a path of like, healing becomes a path of self-healing that's where the healer should be focusing first is self-healing that's why maybe this is a little like caveat here i've been offering like year-long healing mentorships to walk with a healer along their path so that they can truly discover who they are that they can go to the depths of their being to really begin the healing that is needed in order to step into that role as a healer maybe you feel the calling on some level but you haven't quite answered it or maybe life has been showing you but you haven't been quite awakened to it if it's a curiosity maybe it's something we can talk about so that you can start to see if this is part of your path your dharma to discover really who you are but i think this is a time that we're being all called to stand into that role of being a light worker i'm sure if you're watching this is probably because you've been called to this space because the people that I generally see are people that are called to step into some light of service, some way to be of service to humanity. And in that being of service to humanity, and this is all part of everything that's going on, that's where you find your absolute fulfillment. 
then the things that are physical and material don't seem to matter that much, but they actually happen to manifest, if you will, out of the pure faith that you have, that the path that you need to, the life that you need to live, will happen abundantly for you in a very prosperous way. And you'll find, I'd say, like the, the feeling that what you're experiencing is everything you've ever needed will be right here, even if it's all in your hands. And you will find contentment in that. If that makes some sense, hopefully it does. Now, let's see what the oracle has to offer us. See what guidance that wants to come through. And this morning when I was sharing breath work, I saw very clearly like this mandala. It's actually a yantra, the Sri Yantra. But it was like also overlaid with this. I couldn't figure out if it was like the Kali Yantra or if it's a like Durga's Yantra. One of the other Yantras was kind of like a five, six, seventh dimensional type of Yantra, but it was definitely all made in gold. It was... And it wasn't flat, it was like these, so that's why I'm saying it's maybe like six or seven, or even eighth dimensional. It was made up of, of like, um, yeah, it was like this, like, you could see through it and inside of it and around it. But it was in front of, so it was like activating, it was coming to activating. And we're in a time of this, like, pow empowered activation, this lion's gate. Even if it doesn't make any sense to you and you think it's all like, new age crazy talk and sometimes it is but there has been obviously evidence that the ancient Egyptians found this time very powerful so there must be something that maybe modern humanity is missing if we doubt that there's something powerful behind this plus all people on this planet that are coming together with their consciousness their collective consciousness saying that this is a powerful gateway for manifesting into living life in your most empowered self. So are you living life in your most empowered self? Have you come to that doorway asking those questions of this is what you need to do? Maybe. So let's see what guidance has to offer us. Placing that yantra within these cards so that the clearest guidance comes through. And we thank the oracle for guiding our way. There's marine life. This is really interesting. There's been a lot of twos coming up. I mean, see a lot of twos. It's got 32 on the card. A lot of twos. Twos are keeping reminding us about faith and trust. No matter what's going on in the in the world, have faith and trust. At first, when you look at this card from afar, it kind of looks like a little bit of like chaos. But when you look at it closer, you see it's like a thriving reef. There's like all kinds. There's even a shark, and there's different kinds of fish, and then there's like stingray and then there's like all kinds of strange stuff inside of the water too there's bubbles there's this feeling of like there's even like this massive like looks like a whale there's this feeling that it's even in this um like what seems like chaos there's a seemingly feeling of like serenity it also says in the card richness. So we're talking about manifesting. So this abundant feeling that we have faith and trust in the world that we're supposed to live in. And then we add these numbers together because there's a three in here about being really in union with spirit. It's also coming into that place of positivity, of the positive mind. But together it's about transforming. So we're going through this transforming time and I feel like we are moving into dimensionally that we're moving into a different realm of our being, a place that we've never been or seen or felt or even knew even existed. Imagine this, this idea, and actually this morning this is making sense. I was studying up on my pranayama, and there's this pranayama, and I can't remember the exact Sanskrit word for it, but about holding the breath underwater, but finding this equilibrium within yourself that you can actually float. And they were saying this is a very advanced form of pranayama, so not to try it at home with maybe a teacher. But this idea about being underwater. And then there was this other card that we pulled out just at the end of our practice, and it was like moving speed, and it was like leaping, and it was like, it's like we're leaping somewhere, we're going out of this time to something new, and some, to something different. You know, if we look at Earth herself and what we've done and the destruction, and we, the creators of this next like period of like um, extinction, 
we if you've seen some of the documentaries about what we've done to the oceans and how we're killing the wildlife but the one thing that even though humans can be so destructive on many different levels it's like mother nature still is prime like even through like the extinctions that have existed before this before this lifetime that we're living into this world that we're living in mother nature had this spontaneous way of re like reviving herself thriving surviving so maybe even though we the energy we hold and this is so why it's so important that the thoughts that we think and the words that we speak are so rich in positivity or in potential for something that is empowering that is healing versus something that is dramatic or drama um, neg negative that takes us out of the rut that distracts us from the true course of the way it is about human evolution how are we evolving what storylines are you being tied into pulled into but where do you want to be like when i said it first looks like chaos but when i dove deeper into it there's a sense of serenity and calmness softness and there is it's abundant there's so much of it and everything this is the important piece for humanity here too all these creatures shark whale stingray tiny little fish they're all living like what seems like in harmony like in perfect equilibrium and the white sort of um, amounts to it's like you know there's a lot of small fish there's one shark it's just like the right like harmony that's going on here maybe that's why we're going into this harmonic convergence maybe in this harmonic convergence i keep calling it that but of the alignment of sirius and the sun and earth and you and your heart your courageous heart that we can really find our personal inner harmonic convergence with all that's going on inside of us maybe this is our inner beingness with all the pieces that make us up like we have 10 toes 10 fingers but one heart it's like it's this perfect harmony within us maybe we can bring our awareness back inside too instead of being in the external world and see how our inner environment is bring this rich marine life marine like life inside of us this place of serenity this place of peace this place of being back in nature maybe that's our interdimensional travel we're so outside of ourselves coming back into our body completely new dimension just a thought to think about so hopefully that made some sense somewhere along the way again this is Belinda Pearl I thank you so much for joining me you can always find me at BelindaPearl.com and again from my heart to yours may you be blessed and have a beautiful beautiful day